in Essex on the Lower East Side, Kosar's Bialy's is churning out dozens and dozens of baker's dozens from the same oven for over 65 years. And talk about antique, Kosar's is the oldest Bialy bakery in the United States. Bagels, Bialy's, same thing, right? Wrong. You're a Bialy store. Yeah. That's a very limited thing in New York City. Well, we are the only Bialy store in Manhattan that makes primarily Bialy's more than bagels. So we make our own bagels, but we actually sell four times the amount of Bialy's than bagels. Bialy's have 170 calories per Bialy, as our bagels have 500 calories. Whoa. That? Yes. We're talking diet food now. Absolutely. Okay. So you could have two Bialy's and have less calories than one bagel. I like it. What about three Bialy's and then it's like having a bagel? But you get to have three Bialy's. Can't eat that many Bialy's. Who can't eat that many Bialy's? I can. Stand by. Secret family recipe ahead. And the ingredients are simpler than you might think. So the dough has the four ingredients. Flour, water, salt, and yeast. And then we have the filling, which would be the onion. This is cooked onion? No, this is raw onion, ground up, like with a meat grinder right. that's never seen meat, don't worry. Okay. And then some old Bialy bread, like the hard bread. Ooh, that's kind not, of like a that's stuffing. That's the secret. Yes. Uh, so the first Bialy ever made, still just in. Gave away. The first Bialy ever made is in still there? Still in there, yes. Ooh. Okay, that's the lore. We'll go I with like it. it. Okay. And then this is the garlic. Okay. This is basically reconstituted garlic. Okay. No Bialy's in the garlic. No Bialy's in the garlic. Boring. So we take those four ingredients, we mix it in our mixer for about 10 minutes, and then we let it stand in the mixer for about an hour. And then what we do is we cut it up into smaller pieces and we feed it through the next machine, which is called a divider rounder. And basically what it does, it weighs each piece of dough, cuts it, and then rounds it into the Bialy shape. What's in the box? So we have risen Bialy dough that's ready to go. That's what we've been waiting for. Yes. So it's been proofing, which means it's rising, and now it's ready. But Bialy's don't like the air, so once we get started and we uncover it, we're going to get moving. Rock and roll. They're nice and fluffy. Ooh, light. Yeah. I would have thought it would have been much denser, heavier. Well, okay. if you didn't let it rise, uh, it would have. And it. if you let it rise too much, then it's just an air ball of mess. What so do this you do with that? Oh, uh, you start again. Okay. Yeah, I didn't tell you to spin. Oh, oh. No. While the ingredients may be important, Bialy making is all about the technique. Fail here, and you just have bread. So you want the swimming pool on the inside? A secret is if it's not big enough, you just cheat, OK? All right, empty But are these the decent? I don't want to keep going if they're no, wrong. No, no, they're fine. You sure? I'll show you how to fix okay. them after. So just keep want... throwing balls our way and we'll keep it. making them. No problem. All right. Stretch. See, you want, you want a swimming pool in the middle. You know, after you pull one or two million Bialy's, you get good at it. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of Bialy's. You ready to schmear? Yes. For those of you scratching your heads, a schmear is Yiddish for a light spread. But don't take this step lightly. The schmear is crucial for further establishing that famous Bialy divot. Oh, okay, so that amount you showed me, oh, that yeah, does Yeah, that goes for okay, the whole okay, okay. table. Got it, got it, got it. Or half the table. Okay. Schmear, schmear, Then we'll do garlic schmear. on the head. And you see how this one wasn't pulled so great? But if I smear it again... What are you trying to say? Uh, nothing. <laughs> okay, and now we uh, peel up. Think I could do this whole one? Come on. Good Have luck. faith. Go ahead. Here I don't, we go. A little nervous. Don't be. Give it a little space. All the way in the back, all the way to the back. Pull, pull, pull. Push the ball. Booyah! Once the Bialy's are in, we flip the shelf. We're on shelf number... Two. Two. And we say, bye-bye, Bialy's. Bye, Bialy's. Bye, Bialy's. It takes about three spins. Three rotations. About seven, eight minutes. Okay. After a few spins in the oven, it's time to take the hot, crusty morsels of perfection out and get them into their trays to cool. That is, if you have the willpower to wait. Nice. Let's be honest, how long do you have to wait before you can eat one? You should wait about 10 minutes. What was the quickest you ever waited? Right on the oven. All right. I'm doing it. Be careful. Ooh, it's a little hot. It is hot. It's it really hot. hot. Ooh, but it's crispy. I'm going to do it. Nice Am I going to burn my mouth? Maybe. Blow, Very blow, hot. Blow. <laughs> so what do you think? Mm. Dave's Bialy's. How much does a Bialy cost at Kosar's? 90 cents a piece. 90 cents easily falls within our budget. A dozen... 1080, 10 but you 80. get one free. You get you th get 13, so we could break the rules for that, but you could always come in and get one. Now, if you come at the right time, you could pretty much almost always get a hot one. Pretty much most of the day we bake. Very hot. You can 
taste a piece of true New York City history right here in the Lower East Side. I'm going to continue tasting them all day long. Deborah, thank you, the so Bialy awesome. Queen. Thanks. 90 cents is all you need to enter the historic world of Bialy eating. But I dare you to eat. World Recipe at Kosar's can be done for pocket change at just 90 cents for an authentic Bialy. At Demolition Depot, you can buy a piece of history. What you spend is up to you. And for just three bucks, you can get a ticket to ride and feel like a kid again at the Forest Park Carousel. So it just goes to show you don't have to spend tons of money to have a great time in New York City. You just got to get out there and do it. For $9.99, I'm Dave Evans, and I'll see you next time. This week on $9.99. It's so hard to say $9.99. It's really hard. Ahora semana a nueva punto noventa y nueve. Oh, I just, shh, I spun. Don't spin. Uh, I'm not supposed to spin. Keep going. Come on. You're going to get a close-up of my failure. It's not a failure. It's really hot. You're not talking, because I'm going to do voiceover, oh. so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, make a left. <laughs> this one's only going left. Where in New York City can you ride an antique and oversell it? <laughs> Careful.